Uh, let's quote Wikipedia first. Not that they are the 100% most reliable source, but they have some good things to offer, and I, they 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 present what I like to interpret as a, a kind of rudimentary perspective on many topics, and not to mention one of their main strengths is the fact that they're kind of crowdsourced when it comes to um, pulling their information when presenting it, meaning it's not monopolized by one group with an overarching um, particular political or religious or historical bias on any given topic, instead by allowing multiple people from anywhere around the world to contribute to their ongoing Wikipedia uh, encyclopedia of information, then you're allowed to uh, um, uh, experience the perspective of many different um viewpoints uh so that's not so always one-sided like you might pick up if you just um uh went to maybe like one theology website or like a, a, a you know a, a protestant resource on the topic or a catholic resource or something like that wikipedia is at least going to be a little bit more neutral in that regard so let's read what they have to say about eastern orthodoxy here's what they say in eastern orthodoxy theology starts with the father hypostasis not the essence of God, since the Father is the God of the Old Testament. So notice that this perspective on understanding who God is and appreciating God as a being um, starts not with trying to figure out is God one, is he two, is he three, right? It doesn't start with the essence of God. It actually starts with the understanding that God is the Father. He's this um, being who is, oh, well, I'm getting ahead of myself. Let me just let the, uh, uh, Wikipedia say it for themselves. He's the father. That is, the father is the origin of all things. And this, in their theology, is the basis and starting point of the Orthodox Trinitarian teaching of one God in Father, one God of the essence of the Father, like they say, as the uncreated comes as the uncreated comes from the Father, as this is what the Father is. So, um, this doesn't sound too terribly different than ultimately theology that's shared by Trinitarians, right? I mean, I'm a Trinitarian. I don't claim to be an Orthodox uh, Christian or a Greek Orthodox or anything like that. But I do also affirm the fact that the Father, God, is the origin of all things. I do believe that he is the starting point. If you think about it theologically, when we're talking about discussions on uh, Yeshua's ministry and the um, pouring out of the Holy Spirit and the working of the Holy Spirit among uh, humans and things like that, God is the um, uncontested, the undisputed origin. Right? God is the God. The Father is one who sends Yeshua into the world to. Uh, perform his ministry, to do the miracles. Over and over again, when you're reading through Yeshua's words uh, in the Gospels, he, he repeatedly points back to the Father as the one who is orchestrating and driving the program, the one who's leading the program, the one whose will that Yeshua is submitting himself to uh, as the Son of Man, as the Messiah sent to humanity. So um, there's nothing wrong with st stating that the Father is the origin of all things. Um, the Holy Spirit is likewise sent from the Father as well as the Son, right? We're getting to that aspect when we talk about the filial quay debate. But the idea is that if we look to God the Father as the, the buck stops here sort of concept, then we're not entirely wrong. That's a good place to start. And that's basically what Eastern Orthodoxy is trying to convey.